welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Meg I do put out videos a couple times a week so if you're not subscribed perhaps you'll consider doing so and clicking the subscribe button up there and then also if you'd like to be notified when my new videos are live if you hit the bell button you will be notified so today I have a very typical sort of Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Um, I think that these are really fun to do every year. I feel like over the years I've worn like purple looks, pink looks, red looks, regular neutral looks. So this year I decided to go with something a little bit sparkly, a little bit more on the glam side, but it's still really easy for you to achieve and it won't take up too much of your time to get this look. So if you're curious to see what I did, then let's get into it. The main focus of this look is gonna be the Tarte Tardius Pro palette. I love this palette. There's a review on it if you guys want. There will be a card floating around and a link down below. But two colors we're gonna start with. This is Innocent, the second color in, in the first row, and then the last matte color and the darkest color in the row, Smoked. So to get started with this, I'm just gonna lay it down with my Morphe G24 brush. I'm just gonna concentrate on putting this into the crease. I'm gonna blend it up pretty high close to the brow bone and work on adding a shape to it and putting it in the outer third a little bit as well. So to help keep this look nice and sharp, I've added some tape and I lined it up for the lower third because I plan on smoking that out. So that's why I didn't put it right up against my lash line, but I'm just gonna take that smoked dark matte color on a Morphe M433 brush and work on putting that into my crease, and mostly on the outer third of my eye and putting that on my lid as well. I'm just gonna go back and forth between this brush and the G24 until I get that flawless blend. I love using tape. It's just something that's quick and easy and it's gonna give you really great results. You're not gonna have to worry as much about making things even or getting your shape just right. I think it's super convenient. Now taking Innocent, which is a matte white from the palette, I'm gonna pack that onto my brow bone with an angled Coastal Sense brush and then I'm going to give that one final blend before we move on to the next step. Now I'm taking this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. This is just really gonna provide a good sticky base for the next product. And that is going to be the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Catnip. I love this shade. It's super sparkly, super pretty, super rose gold. So it's nice and romantic and great for this Valentine's Day look. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the shadow insurance with my finger and just pat it on. It's just gonna create a nice sticky base. And of course you could have used this for the lid all over at the start of the look, but I just prefer to use my primed base as translucent powder for eyeshadows. And then to apply the catnip shade, I'm gonna take this Soho brush. This is a nice synthetic brush. You really want something that's gonna be stiff with the bristles so it really packs the product on. I still wasn't happy with the application with the brush, so I just went in with my finger and I had the best results with that. It just really packed on the product and made a statement, which is what we're looking for. Now that we are done with the upper part of our eye, we can remove that tape and work on the lower lash line. So I'm going back in with that smoked matte color and I'm applying that with a flat liner brush. This is a Morphe M432. I love using this to just press the dark shadows on and then I love taking the Morphe E36 and blending those dark shadows out on my lower lash line. It's honestly the perfect size for this. You just wanna apply that shadow almost all the way in and just leave the inner corner of your eye open. To finish off the lower lash line, I'm going back in with the catnip color on that same E36 brush and just putting that in the inner corner of my lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Illamasqua Precision Ink Liner and just do a basic line. I'm not gonna wing it out or anything. If you want to, you do you, boo. But I will say it was a little bit difficult to get the eyeliner to go on smoothly over the Super Shock shadow, so that's something to keep in mind when you're working with glitter. Sometimes it's easier to put the eyeliner on first and then go back and apply the glitter. For lashes, I'm gonna pair up Maybelline the Falsies Push-Up Angel Mascara and the Tarte Tardius Lash Paint Mascara. This is my dream combo of mascaras. They work so well together. And here is the finished eye look. 
I've decided to keep lashes simple for this look. If you wanted to add falsies, you obviously could. It would really add more drama to the look, but I just wanted to keep it a little more natural for this tutorial because in real life, I'm more likely to just go with mascara and leave the falsies at home. Now to really finish this look off, I'm going in with this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul. I love this color. It's just like a perfect soft pink, which is really what I wanted to go for in this tutorial. I think a lighter nude would look really great or a brownie nude, a pinky nude, any nude would look really awesome with this look. It was so hard for me to not pick that because you guys know that is my go-to. So I, you know, stepped outside the box and went with a colored lip for once. I also think hot pink would look really nice. A mauve color would look really great, and then if you wanted to be really bold and stand out on Valentine's Day, you could even get away with wearing a purple lip with this. Plenty of choices for you guys for lip colors. Anyway, that is going to wrap it up for this Valentine's Day tutorial. I really love the way that this turned out. I've really been getting into more glam looks lately. Don't forget to give this look a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Feel free to hit the share button if you want to share it with your friends. And leave me a comment down below with what you're doing for Valentine's Day. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm probably going to be sitting on my couch watching reality TV because I work during the day and Joe works nights, but that's all right. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.